Hi there, welcome back. Welcome back to the continuation or the completion really of the Telefunken de Kapa project. It was on hold while I was on holiday and um, it's been quite a while. I think the last video was about a month ago. In the meantime, I was traveling in the north of Portugal. I was getting a hell of a lot of sunshine, uh, a lot of food, a lot of food was consumed and uh, no electronics was done. So I'm quite keen to get back into it. And there was very little left to be done. When I finished off the last video, I mentioned there were a couple of things that I was waiting for. Those things have arrived. I'll get to that in a second. But in the meantime, I've got it back on the bench and I want to describe to you what it is that was still outstanding. If you recall, uh, right near the beginning, I mentioned that um, of all the restoration stages that I needed uh, to do, one of them I'd left out, and that was this selenium rectifier. And I mentioned at the time that um, I would probably be doing this at the end. And the reason for that is very simple. These selenium rectifiers generally, generally need to be removed and replaced. It's very simple to replace them. You replace them with a bridge rectifier, silicon bridge rectifier. But because uh, the voltage drop when the, selenium, when the silicon diodes uh, are used is much lower than the voltage drop that you get across these selenium rectifiers, we then will end up with a different B+, probably different to what we need. So the idea is to do the full restoration, get the whole thing stabilized, so you have no leaks, but you have the, uh, the tubes drawing the current they're supposed to, and then you look at what voltages you get and decide on how you're gonna replace the selenium rectifier. Now, when I say decide how you're gonna replace them, it, it has to do with a series resistor that you need to put in at the output of the uh, diodes, before it gets to the uh, filter capacitor so that it drops some voltage, which will make up for the voltage drop that you're not getting with the silicon diodes. Now, this uh, particular radio has a 240 volts selection at the back, which is quite useful. It actually does have space on the transformer, around the transformer. If I needed to do that trick of adding more windings to reduce the voltage that I did in a previous restoration, but I don't really need to because what I did is I measured the voltages with this thing as it was. And what I got was a B plus of 249 volts. And that's supposed to be 266, so it's a bit low. And B1 plus of 219, which is supposed to be 227. But I got a heater voltage of 6.4 to 6.5. Now I measured that on the, uh, on the dial lamp. It's a little bit higher than the 6.3 that I want, but it's not a problem because it's close enough. So I don't need to do anything with the AC input section. In other words, putting more turns on here to reduce that voltage is, is pointless. If this thing didn't have a 240 volt section, uh, selector at the back, I probably would need to do that. So that's out of the way. In other words, the transformer is now transforming the input uh, AC voltage, the mains voltage, and producing the heater voltage at 6.4, 6.5, it actually went as high as 6.6, .6, which is within the 5% range of what it's supposed to be, so that's fine. And then it's producing the uh, secondary voltage, the main high voltage secondary, which then goes to the selenium rectifier. Now, I need to do the uh, testing on that to see what resistor I need to put in series. Now, if you've seen one of my other videos, you'll probably remember that I... Um, did a little project with PCB Way. Let me just remind you. Before continuing, I just want to thank the sponsors of this video, PCB Way. Visit the website on pcbway.com. Besides the PCBs that I normally order for my projects, they offer a full prototyping service, which uh, includes uh, 3D printing, CNC, laser cutting, injection molding, and anything else you may need to take your project from the design stage all the way through to completion. What I did is I had these boards made and these boards are to be, you know, broken off there and you end up with these things, which is uh, to be used to add, uh, replace the filter caps. But we won't talk about that at the moment. And this one here, which is to rebuild the selenium rectifier with four silicon diodes. There are the positions for the diodes. And there are positions for three resistors, which you can put in uh, parallel to give you the resistance, the voltage drop that you need. Now, what I've done is I've actually broken up broken off one of these, put in the diodes, and actually uh, fitted that into the radio, which I'll show you in a second. Now, all I need to do is to work out what resistor I need there. And as I mentioned in the video, which I'll link ab above on this particular project, you sometimes have a bit of a problem working out what this resistor is supposed to be. 
it might you might think it's simple you know you might have uh, you know 20 30 volts too high and you think well you know work out the current drop the voltage it doesn't really work that way because the voltage that's going into the system the b plus if it's too high is creating a current in the tubes which is not the current that's going to pass when you've got it down to the b plus you want so the easiest way to do this is actually by experiment um, you put in a resistor if it's too high or if the voltage drop is too high you drop the resistor if it's too low you raise the resistor it's not a very scientific way of doing it but it's an engineering way of doing it and uh, that's the one i prefer so i'll be showing you what we get out of that and i've actually done part of it already i've removed the uh, wires from the going from the transformer to the selenium rectifier and then from the selenium rectifier to the filter caps and uh, let me just show you it's easier that's where I take the wires from. I've, act, I've had to sort of extend them a little bit and I've used some uh, heat shrink to make sure we don't have, get any shorts. I decided to bring them out of the radio so it makes it easier to work with. And then they go to that board, which is here. Now what we see here are the two AC wires coming in. That's one AC, that's the other AC wire. There's my ground, which goes to the ground point on there. And there's the B+. Now, B plus is actually coming out of the diodes and you need to, if you want to make this work as it is, you need to short out one of those resistors. In other words, you need to put a jumper on because at the moment there's an open circuit there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually jumper this so we'll have no resistor in place, measure what voltage we get. Remember, we're trying to get uh, with, say, FM selected, we're trying to get 266 volts. See what we get and then we'll try with the resistor in place and see what resistor we need. Now I've got FM selected on here. I'm just going to switch on the radio here. That is AC voltage. Put it on DC. 291. That's with one bulb only. 40 watts um, light bulb. So it's highly restricted. So I'm going to give it another bulb. You can hear some noise, but never mind. Put the volume down. We've got 150 milliamps being drawn, 210 volts going to the radio. The B plus there is a 252. And remember, we need 266, so I'll give it another bulb. We're already higher than that. we still got some restriction. I'm going to bypass the dim bulb limiter completely. So the radio is now seeing 235 volts and this thing is up at 287. So it is a little bit high. We're 22 volts above what we want, 286. So now I'm going to add a resistor and I think I'm going to start with a 50 ohm resistor, 47 ohm resistor, something like that and see what we get. Let me set that up as well. I've got a 47 ohm resistor on here. This 40, 47 ohm resistor is going across where those resistors are on the board. I'm just using one resistor for now. And I'm going to switch this thing on. No restriction. Let it warm up a little bit and see what we get. Two eighty something. It's still dropping. We want two sixty six. Hmm, don't think we're going to get there. 278, 47 ohms is too little. I've got a 100 ohm resistor ready here. And yeah, still need to drop another 12. I'll put this off. I don't normally behave myself as much as that. I normally would probably do this with my with the voltage on, but I don't want to promote any bad habits. This thing will zap you. 100 ohm resistor in there now. Let's see what we get. Is this warm? Not really. This was a 2 watt resistor. Let's see. So that's 100 ohms. And we're still, what is that? Uh, Six, 6 volts above what we want, which is pretty close now. Which makes my life easier because 
what it means, what it means is that um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in it's uh, so that's 100 ohms. I want about 120. So if I've got two 220s, or well, actually three 330s, three 330 ohm resistors in parallel will give me 110. Um, which is slightly more than that, which means the voltage will drop ever so slightly, which will be spot on. And that means that um, I will have the current flowing through here divided by three 2 watt resistors, which is perfect. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder those three by 330. I trust them to be uh, about right. And we'll see what we get afterwards. So I've soldered the three resistors, the 330 ohms, so we get about 110 ohms three resistors in parallel. I've uh, left them a little bit lifted off the board, so uh, heat dissipation is a lot better. And now we'll switch it on and see what voltage we get. So here we go. We should get just slightly lower than uh, 270, which is, we want 266. We'll see what we're getting here. Current gets drawn, voltage comes down. Remember, I've got no limit on the dim bulb. It's direct. Yeah. Still sort of stubborn at 270. It'll probably come down a bit more. I try one of the other bands, 277, pick up 280. So my FM, which is supposed to be 266, is 270. And you know what? I'm happy. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm happy with that. And our voltage, our line voltage, mains voltage at the moment is 235, which is a little bit higher than usual. It's usually around 232, 233, 230. So I'm happy with this. Now all I need to do is put that back in there. Now remember, this thing was uh, designed so that it sort of closely matches the shape of one of those, uh, those flat selenium rectifiers. In this particular case, we don't have one of those, so I'm not really worried about the shape. I'm just going to find a safe place to wire this properly underneath there, and we're going to call that a wrap. Right, we're done. I've um, actually finished putting in three resistors, three by 330 ohm resistors inside the, on that board. So the three ohm parallel, that gives us 110 ohms and it gives us a capacity, maximum capacity of six watts because they're equal resistors and they're all two watt resistors. I fitted in to fitted that board into a space that I found there, which uh, seems to work well. I'm using a ground lug as a base, as you can see here. And now I'm ready to try it on. So again, we've got the meter connected to the B+. There's a very handy point up here on the transformer where the B+, comes to. If you recall, that's the first point the B+, hits. And I'm going to give it just a bit more care. One, uh, one light bulb. Make sure we haven't shorted anything. Okay, it looks good. I'll give it another one. Still nothing dramatic, so give it all the light bulbs to start. Put the volume down. I'm going to bypass it. So we've got the full mains, 232 volts at the moment. And there's our 270 volts DC for the B+, and it's coming down a little bit. Now remember, I've got FM selected, so the schematic says 266. It looks like it actually comes closer to 266 during the day when the when the mains is slightly lower. So 268.4, good enough for me. Right, next time you see this, it'll be in the cabinet and I'll be able to do a final test. All right, let me get going. All right, folks, here we are. Everything's in the cabinet. The speaker's been soldered on. The electrostatic tweeters have been soldered on. Careful with polarity on those things. You don't want any uh, any shorts or cross polarities because one will then annul the other. 
And I think we're ready to go. I think we're done. The uh, magic eye is in there, but I don't have much action from that uh, from that magic eye. I've ordered alternatives. They haven't arrived yet. But this thing is looking really cleaned up, looking really good. That's been painted. All the edging has been painted. So all I need to do now really is to put the back on and flip it around. Right, that's done. So let's see what this thing can do. Switch it on. No limit. FM. Tritões, como recolher obrigatório, outros 29 oh. consoles ficam em alerta. A Ministra da Presidência, Mariana Vieira da Silva, adiantou que o Governo vai esperar pela reunião do Infarmed oh, na terça-feira para depois avaliar as medidas Speech. em vigor. Da reunião do Conselho de Ministros de Deus, saiu really a aprovação de uma proposta de lei para fixar margens That's máximas better. de combustível e também a decisão de mm, para like que um pelo menos um altar a meio tempo. Duas medidas que vão seguir para debate. This thing has got one hell of a sound. A Organização Portuguesa da Jornada Mundial da Juventude 2023 desafia os jovens a fazer a missão. Na tua loja em MediaMarkt.pt MediaMarkt, feito o mesmo para mim. Olá Ana, tudo bem? Olá Paulo. <laughs> That's brilliant. That sounds amazing. Really amazing. I like it. I like it. And um, it's what I expected. Very good bass because of this uh, speaker in front here. It's huge. The electrostatic tweeters are subtle, but they are there. Just a note, before I put on the main speaker, I put a dummy load on, switched it on, and just to make sure the electrostatics were working, and they're working just fine. So this thing is really amazing sound. Really amazing. All right, that's FM. Let's try uh, long wave and medium wave. Probably a bit later would be best. On second thoughts, I'm going to try it now. I'll put the dummy dummy antenna, the uh, mini whip antenna on. We're on medium wave. Claro. La última cinta de la temporada, Julia, se la vamos a dejar a ella. Loca tarde. Porque se lo ha ganado a pulso. Es la estrella del programa. Digo. De los juegos, la liga que comienza ya. Descansa. ¿Qué tal, Lola? Buenos días. Hola, buenos días, Carlos. Qué delicioso está hablar con Adios. Well, all those stations before were Canary Islands. That last one there is the local uh, local AM station, the only one we've got. Fantastic reception for an afternoon. So that is expect as expected. Let's try long wave. I don't remember if we get much. I don't think we get much at this time of day, but. This is something from North Africa. And it's all working. That is brilliant. And that, my friends, brings to an end this rather long, drawn-out project. 
this one has been quite a while because uh, I did a few steps in between that I probably normally don't do. And um, I was away on holiday and uh, etc, etc, etc. So happy to say this thing turned out exactly the way I expected. Better, in fact. Um, this one's actually going to be used down in my office in Funchal where the stations I want are all below 100 megahertz because this has got the 100 megahertz limit and I tried to stretch it wasn't happy with the result so this one is um, definitely going to be used in the office not at home and again you know a little bit of a sort of uh, anti-climax coming to the end of the project I know there's supposed to be excitement for the next one but I always feel a little bit uh, <laughs> depressed when I finally finish a project. The bodywork came out beautifully. This thing is fantastic. I really love this radio. Mind you, it's a Telefunken, so, you know, what else can you expect? These are fantastic radios, and this one has proven, proven its worth once again. So once again, I want to thank you, and I want to thank you for your patience for this uh, rather drawn-out process. Thank you for taking it along. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something. I always learn stuff from these things. And uh, I'll see you again soon for another project. Once again, thanks for watching. Bye for now and stay safe.